The epic game ends, as you can see, on Alabama interception. The ball is right in the air there. You can't see this right here. Falling into the hands of number two defensive back and ahead of Georgia's wide receiver number eight to end a scintillating game that was, I thought, headed to overtime. I thought for sure George was going to score. That was an incredible game. As you can see, the pass was intercepted, ending one of the greatest games, I think, in college football history. It reminded me a lot of the Atlanta Falcons against the New England Patriots Super Bowl. They had the 28-3 lead. I believe that was the um, 2000, that was Super Bowl 57 in Minneapolis, Minneapolis Minnesota. Uh, where the Falcons could have won, but didn't, lost after the Patriots mounted a furious comeback when they were after being down 28-3. to This game felt a lot like that, but it didn't end the same way. Congratulations to the Alabama Crimson Tide, the former Washington coach, Kalen DeBoer, who I, like many other people, wondered, could he be the answer in terms of taking over for Nick Saban? Truly, the Alabama Athletic Department knew what it was doing and hiring Kalen DeBoer to be Nick Saban's successor. Subscribe to Zinni62 on YouTube and bookmark NFL News by Zinni62.com.